Hello, it's nice having you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. This is episode number 22. We're going to be putting together a Blair Line section car tool house this time. It's a laser cut wood kit. Ah, my kind of directions. Step one, put this piece on that piece. Really easy directions. This is the kind that I like. Now, the parts, in close inspection, they have lots of detail. They were well cut out. They were well thought out. And look, doesn't have much to it. That's a pretty simple kit. Now, most of these wood kits I color with my weathering powder. It goes on really fast. There's no possibility of warping because it's not liquid. And there's no drying time, so you can move right on to construction. And here are the parts all laid out. Pretty simple kit, isn't it? Now this kit comes with tabs and slots. It's almost impossible to put it together wrong. You do want to make sure it's very square and plumb, very correctly put together before the glue dries. There's two trains of thoughts about windows and doors. Sometimes I put them in before I put the box together. Sometimes I put them in after I have the box together. That's a personal choice, whatever you want to do. Now the trim came out really nice. It covers up all those slots and tabs. Covered them up really nice, but you do have to be careful with them because they're a little fragile. They give you rolled tar paper for the roof. So I got my Sharpie out and just did a little coloring and then there you have it. Now this uh, tar paper has self-adhesive backing to it and I gotta give you a heads up. You wanna make sure to get this tar paper in the exact right place the first time because it's not coming off of there. I'll tell you that right now. Now you notice that I made the door somewhat open. Don't make all of your buildings with the doors shut. That doesn't look like real life. Think about what it would look like out there in the real world. Now here you have the finished shed. You notice it looks a little different. I decided to do a different roof. I was digging around my treasure chest, mostly junk but a few jewels, and I found an old piece of metal roofing from I don't know where it's from. So I put it on there right on top of the rolled roofing and it came out pretty nice. What do you think? This was a fast, easy kit from the folks there at the Blair Line Company. Well, I'm glad you guys joined me for episode 22. Come back and join me anytime. And certainly hope you guys are having fun with your trains. Bye now.